guys, what's going on? Welcome to another species showcase video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this big guy right here, the Alamosaurus that's coming with the late Cretaceous pack that launches today for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Thank you so much to Frontier for allowing me to have early access so I could take a quick peek at these guys a little bit early. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of their skin patterns and colors, their statistics in the hatchery, and then some of their animations like this one. <laughs> they have the absolute cutest social animation. I can't wait to show you guys. But first, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at their design. So these guys are a bit strange to me. Their little throat spikes are a bit weird, but overall, I mean, pretty cool. They kind of remind me of an old man, but I think a lot of sauropods remind me of an old man. They have this kind of um, crest up here with these larger spikes on the back of their head, and everything they do is in super slow motion. I know that's a very, you know, common thing for large dinosaurs, but uh, I don't feel like I'm going to need to slow down any of their animations for you guys today. So you can see here, this is, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the, sorry, the coloration of this one, the Svalbard Paparana, there you go pronunciation butchered, but there you go. You can see that color. All of them basically have very subtle markings down the back and down their tail, and then this kind of pop of color right here. If we go look at one that's a little bit lighter, uh, you can't really see it on that one too much. Let's see. Here you go, this one you can see. So you can see there's kind of some patterning down the sides, down the back, and then down the tail a little bit where we've got some stripes. And then we've got a little pop of color right here on the back of the head. Here's the green one. If I, eh, he's in the shade so you can't really see him. But there you go, there are just some of the colors. I, I like the pop of color. Um, I like the patterning on them, but I also, you know, I'm not one that needs my dinosaurs to be super realistic so you guys can let me know how realistic this is uh, to what they would have looked like in real life or if this is just kind of a you know fantastical movie quality kind of patterning to them uh, but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the first thing we're gonna see is their exit animations and then we'll go over some of their just ambient animations and uh, some fighting animations as well so normally I would let these exit animations play and then we would kind of talk about them afterwards. Typically the exit animations are pretty short, but these guys, because they move so incredibly slow, their exit animation is pretty long. So I figured we would just talk about them as we are watching them for the first time. So this is the first of two exit animations. The most you can synthesize at the same time is two eggs. So you can see the first one kind of comes out, the second one just kind of follows. This this is the much more straight on view and then we're about to get to the second exit animation which kind of gives more mystery to it. This one is my favorite of the two because you see the bottom of the door open, it's kind of more at an angle and then the camera pans all the way up. You get a really good look at those weird throat spines uh, all the way up to the head so it kind of reveals which animal it is very slowly and I like that about this exit animation. Um, but other than that, there's not too much to say about it. They just kind of slowly meander their way out of the hatchery and then meander their way around the habitat. They don't really do anything too fast, but you get a really good profile view of the Alamosaurus right here. Onto their animations, the first one being their eating. So they're going to eat tall nut trees. Um, and yeah, they're just going to take bites of it and kind of pull their head to the side, ripping off little pieces of nuts, leaves, branches, whatever it is they are eating off of the tree. And then they kind of take a break, tilt their head back and, uh, and eat it. And that's about it. <laughs> Moving on to their drinking animation, which is just a, a standard drinking animation. There's not too much special about it. Kind of spread their front legs apart a little bit so that their, their head can get down to the water, take a couple drinks, lift their head up, take a couple drinks, lift their head up. Kind of the same thing as the, uh, the eating animation. So nothing too special or revolutionary there. 
We're moving on to one of my favorites, but it's not for the way it lays down and not for the way it naps. It's for the way that this thing gets up. Just just wait. So we're going to lie down what to be what looks like very uncomfortably. I don't understand how these guys kind of lay like that, but then they're going to lay down all the way with their head on the floor, take a little nap. They nap for a really long time and then watch this guy get up. He kind of lifts his head and then he kind of is going to slowly rock back and then oh, all the way up like so much effort. I actually haven't watched any of the other sauropods in games, so I don't know if this is brand new or not, but it's brand new to me and I love it. We're going to watch this one's going to lay down and just kind of sit for a minute and then get up. So not take a full nap. This is what I mean by this looks really uncomfortable. This looks like it would kink my neck uh, holding my head up like that. But then he's going to kind of roll back the same way the other one did here in just a second. As soon as he's done kind of looking around. Yeah, roll back with so much effort, get that momentum and then bring his feet underneath his body and stand all the way up. I love it, but it's not my favorite animation. Their social animations actually my favorite. So we're going to watch it twice. This one obviously being the first time. But how sweet. They're going to kind of come together and nuzzle their head. Uh, they do it a couple times, which is what I really like about this animation. It's a pretty long animation. So you can see the first one comes up, nuzzles its head. And then the second one comes back under that one's head and kind of nuzzles back. And then they kind of walk away with one another. And I just think it's so sweet. Uh, the fact that it's kind of reciprocated between both of them, like the first one instigates it and then the second one reciprocates the uh, the snuggles. We'll watch it one more time a little bit closer up uh, with these guys with a different color and a different angle. But they kind of come up together, bow their heads, nuzzle together the first one under that second one's chin. And then they switch and that second one is going to go ahead and nuzzle under the first one's chin right back. Look how sweet. Again, everything in slow motion. Uh, normally I would play these and then play them back in slow motion, but I felt no need to slow these down any slower than they already were because uh, I feel like you guys can get a pretty good look at them as they are. And then the last kind of ambient behavior that I caught was a stretch. Look at this. <laughs> they kind of step forward, stretch their head all the way up to the sky, stretching, you know, all those neck muscles. We'll watch this one one more time because it's rather short, but big stretch. These guys just remind me of like little old man dogs, basically, is what I see. Um, and then we're going to move on from the cute to the... Um, terrifying, I guess. Here's a T-Rex. Very uh, standard sauropod hunting behavior for the T-Rex. Just runs up, bites the tail, bites the leg, um, and it'll do this a couple times um, until it's it's killed them, unfortunately. And last but not least, I did want to show you guys their statistics in the hatchery. So here you go. Large, appetite, resilient, social, intolerant. Ta-da! <laughs> Some of their needs here. Forest, tall nuts, water, open open space requirements, all their likes, and then all their dislikes. Nothing too shocking here. They really don't like um, other sauropods and then the large carnivores, basically. And then we have their base attributes. There you go. If you want to pause it and take a closer look at that, that is their requirements in the hatchery. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what was your favorite animation from these guys. And if these guys are your favorite animal coming to the pack, let me know that as well. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below. It really does help me out and I greatly do appreciate it. And if you don't want to miss out on any future Jurassic World Evolution 2 content, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye.